Hello princesses! Today I'm going to be talking about the Moonshot Micro Setting Fit Cushion Foundation. This obviously is not the right case. I only have the refill which I have popped into my delightfully gorgeous Style Lander case that gives me the Polly Pocket vibes of my dreams. The Style Lander case, um, if you have watched my videos before, I liked the Style Lander cushion but they don't do refills even though their case clearly can hold refills and I just love the packaging of this. So I've been trying to find a good cushion that I can fit in here that I actually like so that I can keep using the case. <laughs> Plus refills are way cheaper than getting obviously the whole thing so this way I save money as well which is great considering the ones that I've bought so far for this case haven't worked out for me. So the microfit cushion was recommended to me by one of my subscribers and again if I can find the name I will put it down here, thank you very much. The last Moonshot cushion that I tried was the Face Perfecting Balm, I think, and I didn't like it. I didn't like the colour, I didn't like the formula, I pretty much didn't like anything about it other than the fact that it did fit into the case. So I decided to try the Microfit one in the hopes that A, at least the formula would be better for my skin, and B, the colour may be a little bit different. Spoilers, the colour is not different, they're still quite orange, <laughs> but the formula is a little bit better. So the product description says, Long wearing cushion provides robust SPF 50 plus PA plus 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 protection and a matte finished full coverage that doesn't cake or oxidize. Formulated with 10 ppm of an extract that I cannot pronounce to hydrate and cool the skin. Refill comes with a cushion puff. Aqualicia? Aqualicia? I don't know about that one. I've never heard it before. So I only have the refill of this cushion, so I do not have the proper outer, but like I said before, I did put it into my Style Lander cushion case, and it fits perfectly, so that is amazing. The refill is black, which doesn't really suit the case so well, considering it is baby pink, but we take what we can get. I really like the cushion puff. It has a little bit of a point to the end, which makes it really easy to get into small areas, such as around your nose and your eyes. I pointed to the wrong places. Around your nose and around your eyes. There isn't anything unusual about the cushion itself. It just has the normal sponge that's soaked with liquid, and that's pretty much about it. The color is a little bit off. It is quite pale, but it is more of an orangey tone. So if you compare it to my perfect shade, which is Nas Sheer Glow in Siberia. It does look a little bit off in colour. It doesn't translate very well on camera on my face, but in real life if you saw me I do look just a little bit orange. It's not so bad that um, I can't go out in public, like the, um, the face shop cushion that I need to review soon. I've got to spend a day inside for that one. It's so orange. But if you were looking and critiquing my skin, in real life you can tell it's not the right colour. So I'm going to be applying this cushion with the provided cushion puff which has this really cool little point at the top and I have put it in my Style Nerdy case of course because it does fit which is so lovely. This cushion is pretty easy to apply generally. I do find that you can kind of layer it up to get a little bit more coverage but it is a sheer to let's say light coverage it's very natural on my skin. It's very easy to apply um, and I really enjoy the cushion puff because it's got that really cool tapered point. So that is half of my face with the cushion on. So you can see that it does have quite light coverage. I can see all of my scarring and my freckles, which I actually don't mind if it is a light coverage product and I want a light coverage day. So this is the comparison between the two. This is the half with the cushion on and then without. So I'm going to quickly do the rest of my face. So this is my full face done with a cushion. It is very natural, very nice. Um, it has a dewy finish, but it is quite sticky. So I will be setting this one with a powder. Otherwise, my hair will stick to my face all day, every day. So I'm going to check back in when I've done the rest of my makeup. Okay, so this is my makeup all done for the day. It's very light and easy. I'm looking a little bit orange, um, but I don't think that you'll be able to tell on camera because you normally can't see any difference. I did notice that when I bumped a bit of mascara on my face and I had to take it off with a Q-tip, it took off literally all of the foundation underneath as well. So I have like a little chunk up here where it looks a little bit funny, but yeah. So with the powder on, I feel like I've gotten a little bit more coverage and definitely a lot more matte, but my face isn't sticky. So that is a good thing. And I will check in with you guys a little bit later on today. Okay, so this foundation has been on for eight hours now. I haven't done any checkups so far because it really hasn't changed, um, aside from the fact that I'm missing a giant patch here. But that is because I fell asleep 
on my hand like that. So I have nobody to blame for that but myself. <laughs> However, the foundation still looks really, really, really good. Um, I don't see any oil, like excess oil at all. I have been out and about running errands. I have had a flute lesson, so I've got like a little bit of something down here. But it's not bad actually. It's not like, um, it's not a huge tarnish mark and there is a little bit of wear on my chin. So it does last for a very, very long time and it looks really, really good, but it is not transfer proof. So you can see that there is the bald spot on my chin. There is the giant chunk off my face where I have been um, asleep on it. I was asleep for like two hours, so. <laughs> It's not like miracle proof, but it does last a very, very long time. So I'm going to do some eyeshadow and then I will check back in with you guys before I take it off, which is probably only going to be like maybe one hour, two at the most. I think 10 hours is pretty much my max. So this cushion has been on for over 10 hours now, 10 and a quarter, and it's still looking pretty good in my opinion. The sun is going down, so the lighting is not the best, but it's not super oily. There's a little bit of shine now through my T-zone, um, and don't even ask. Um, now I have just got a bald patch. So obviously the longevity is not really that bad. It looks pretty good, but just don't touch your face because this this. I mean like they're both my own issues because I got eyeshadow and then I rubbed it and then everything came off but I kind of wasn't expecting it to. So <laughs> yeah. During my like normal day-to-day -day wear tests when I wasn't filming I didn't like rub my face so I didn't know that that would happen um, but it does. So yeah. As long as you don't touch your face this will be good for up to 10 hours. I feel like I'm the most indecisive person at the moment because I'm also on the fence with this cushion. I was on the fence with the Etude House cushion as well. Um, this one, I can't decide if I like it or not. I feel like I tend to like it more because it fits into this cute case. And when I look at the case, it makes me happy. Marie Kondo, it sparks joy. And I want to keep it because of that reason. But in reality, mmm, mmm. I think it's because the color isn't quite on par with what I would like for my skin. It's just that little bit orange and I don't like that. I prefer a full yellow foundation. So for example, this is the Holoka Holoka Hardcover Glow. Yes, the Hardcover Glow Foundation in the shade Ivory. And it's very yellow. It's a little bit dark, but it matches really well because it's at least the right color, even though it's a little bit too dark. This one is kind of like the right lightness for me. So it is the, it does match kind of well, but it's just a little bit more orange. So I feel like I can tell a difference between where my face is and where my neck is. And even if I try and blend it down my neck, unless I'm gonna be covering my entire chest, there's gonna be some sort of like a small blended line where you can see the difference between the two colors. However, the longevity is actually really good. Um, I wasn't expecting it to be so good. <laughs> I was very, very surprised. Um, the only thing that I found with this one is obviously the transfer, which I would have shown you in the video already. Um, I think it, during that day I went to sleep and I had like a nice hand print and then I'd done some um, eyeshadow and then wipes and stuff and then I had like a nice like fingerprint where I'd rubbed the foundation off. That wasn't very good. So although it doesn't get oily, um, it's really you can't you can't touch your face so that's also another downside for me because if you know me I lean on my chin a lot I am a full-time music teacher so I'm consistently like watching kids play things if I'm sitting down with the piano which I know is a terrible habit and I really shouldn't but it's really difficult to stop like stop the leaning and yeah so I would love to hear your opinions on this. I know that on camera, because I've already rewatched the footage, that it doesn't look as orange as it does in real life. So I bet I'm going to get comments being like, it doesn't look orange at all, don't worry. It does look orange in real life. I just can't get the camera to do that because my camera is not expensive. I wish it was. Maybe I'll get sponsorship money in the future that will allow me to buy a nice expensive camera. You never know. But tell me what you think about the longevity and the transfer. Do you think I should keep it? Or do you think that I should give it away? Let me know nicely in the comments. But otherwise, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.